Hey everyone, welcome to another flexibility tutorial. I am here today to help you with your tight hip flexors. You're going to want two yoga blocks and I've actually went ahead and doubled up my mat here. If you have sensitive knees, you may want to use a pad under your knees as well. Also, I will say if you don't have yoga blocks, you can totally still follow along with your hands on the floor, but the yoga blocks will kind of help you get into a more proper posture and assist you as you gain flexibility. So jumping right into it, find yourself in the position I am on the screen here. Your left knee is down, your right knee is forward, your chest is nice and tall with your hands on the blocks. Hold here and bring attention to your breath. Taking a deep breath in. And out. You're really going to want to slow down your breathing here. That's going to help your body relax and release into your hip flexor. From here, keeping your hands on the blocks. Straighten your front leg. If it doesn't come completely straight, that's totally cool. We're getting a little extra work in our hamstrings in this video as well. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in and out. Lunge forward again. Continue to hold and breathe. And you'll want to repeat this video several times a week. The more, the better, honestly. The more consistent you are with your flexibility practice, the faster you're going to improve. Straighten the front leg again. For more of a stretch, you can flex your toes towards you as well. Full breath in. And out. Lunge forward again, this time reaching your arms up and hold. Again, keeping your abs pulled in. Posture is nice and tall. One more full breath. And as you exhale, hands down, straightening the front leg again. From here, we're going to begin a motion where we move between the two positions we were just doing. So on your next inhale, go ahead and bend into your front knee, lunge yourself forward for 10 and back, nine and back, eight, keep going, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold yourself forward, bring your arms up, tuck your back toe for a little more stability and twist towards that front knee. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Return to center, hands on the blocks, lift your back knee, reposition the blocks so that they're under your shoulders. You're gonna tap your back knee down and up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold it up, little pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, and release. Set yourself up for the other side. Last one. 
Low lunge with your left knee forward, your right knee back. Pull your abs in, sink into it. Nice posture, bring attention to your breath. Take a full breath in and out. Full breath in. Out. Straighten the front leg or as straight as you can get it. Hold. Lunge forward again, hold and breathe. Straighten your front leg again. Full breath in and out. Lunge forward again, both arms reach up. This places more weight into your hip flexor. With every exhale, allow your body to sink a little lower. Hands come down, straighten your front leg. And prepare to pick up the pace with these two movements. Lunging forwards and backwards for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Chest is tall. Bring your arms up. Twist towards that left knee. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands come down to your blocks. Move them forward a couple inches, lift your back knee, tap it down 10 times. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it up, little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Good job. That is all for the basic hip flexor stretches. I'm going to go ahead and show you a bonus stretch, which is really amazing if you guys are working towards getting your front splits. So you may need an extra block if you're a little less flexible and need some more support, or you can play around with setting the blocks on their higher sides but this is what we're getting into. So pretend like you're getting into a split or getting into a super low lunge. I have my right leg forward. You mostly want to make sure that your hips are square towards the front and you aren't opening out towards the side here. So your shoulders are forward, your hips are forward. Hold and this should really bring the stretch 
into your hip flexor of the back leg. If you guys are following along, we're gonna be here for 30 seconds. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Go ahead and release. And if you're following along, let's go ahead and do that on the other side. The best way to get into this, I find, is to work into a low lunge, then place the blocks right underneath that hip bone. You wanna be um, sitting on the block and putting some weight on it. Again, we'll be here for 30 seconds. Full breath in. And out. Full breath in. And out. And if you're practicing at the, this at home, you can hold this anywhere really up to five plus minutes. The more advanced you get, the easier it gets. And you'll be able to remove blocks and get lower and lower and lower until you're all, all the way into your middle splits. All right, go ahead and release out of this. Good job. Those are my top tips for helping your tight hip flexors. Also having tight hip flexors can cause a lot of lower back pain. So if you find your hip flexors are tight and you're having a lot of low back pain, that may be a reason. You guys, please let me know what other topics you'd like me to cover in these videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.